What is up everyone, this is Hurricane090 and we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rooms for this room event of Season 21, Room 7, which would be the Pixeling Home event. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 now. Coming in in 10th place with Dark Angel XX77 making his return again to the top 10, let's go ahead and take a look at your room with 678 votes to show for it. As we can see here, it is the same room as he used for the Earth 3018 event, and we can see that it's the same room right here where he is a ninja in the corner, and then we have the sci-fi trophy still, and also what we got here is that we have ourselves a home, although I do not see any pixelings in here. I believe this was supposed to be for the pixelings. We have the mole, we have a bunny, we have a ladybug, an owl with tea time on top of the nest, maybe that's what it's supposed to be, maybe you didn't have Sponzi at the time so you had to do with an owl with that but then we also have a red panda and a clock right there with some popcorn and a mushroom cap right there but that is all what we have here but we didn't see any pixelings in this one here room but other than that congratulations on being part of the top 10 and in ninth place with 691 votes we have Tazuki's room and as we can see here, there is a portal to go into this room, and it is a wonderful, wonderful paradise that we are looking in a type of jungle type setting. And we have Phoebe right there, look at Phoebe, oh so cute. We have Gwen the spider right there, we also have Lovey the tick, we have Porto the mushroom, that also is on top of a mushroom, so that's meta right there, maybe that's its home. Then, we have ourselves the Gato here with Prisma Gato and Prisma Gilly and then what we have here I'm thinking it is Pix I'm thinking it's Pix I want to go double check real quick and yes I was right it was Pix I my memory serves me well with this one but even then, it looks like it is a wonderful place to live in and there was also another Phoebe right there okay there it is but now we're going to take a look at rank number 8. With 700 votes exactly, we have Densha's Room. And we have ourselves another forest wonderland. It looks oh so pretty here. We have Sponsy on top of the mountain right there. We have Pix, we have Nobby behind the owl, but that's not even a pixeling. But we have Mika right there with a little movable box right there. Then we have ourselves Slurmy. We have a Fawn right there, another Mika, another Slurmy, another Pix. And then we have Porto the Mushroom right there too. And Pix behind the tall tree right there. And let's see here, let us see here, and we have a wonderful fox. Oh, that is so cute and adorable, I can never say that enough. I'm a little bit biased when I say that. But in any case, we have ourselves a wonderful forest to live in. Coming in at rank number 7 with 751 votes, we have Dexy's Room. It looks like we have a river with some greenery, and bonus points for the waterfall as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the pixelings that we have in this wonderful, wonderful paradise. That we have Lovey, a few Ubus right there, I see Gato, I see Oog, I see Porto, I see Nobu. Then we have Gusto and Naza right there, along with a few Phoebes here. Then we have Zell and Shadow with Korra on the river, looks so cute. We have Gilly right there, some more Korra, some Shadow. Then we have Nami right there, and then we have Goo, and then let's see here Prisma Mika, and then also we have Ted and Pix too, and Gwen right there with Sponsy and another Lovey, and also Prisma Oog and regular Oog around the campfire, so that's pretty fitting right there. And I don't think I've missed a single pixeling right there. There's a few Zells in the corner right there too, and also we have an appearance with Slippy here too. Overall, it is a wonderful, wonderful little river, including with a lot of greenery as well, and just looks oh so together peaceful. Oh, wait a second. How did I miss that? It actually blended in quite well. There is Spag, the flying spaghetti monster too. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It kind of blended in with the orange background, so I didn't actually see it that first time around. Very, very elusive there. Coming in in 6th place, we have Dryery's Room with exactly 800 votes. And it looks like it's more of a mini city type of deal. We have a lot of mounds, some trees right there, we have a silo too, then we have a waterfall, and then we have ourselves the duckling right there, or a swan if you like to look at it that way. Then we have ourselves a farmland, and then in the little corner we have ourselves Ubu, then Prisma Ubu, Shadow, Korra, Slurmy, 
Porto Goo. Is that goo? That looked like goo, didn't it? Yep, that is goo. Okay, you were just being idle for a moment. Prismacora. And then we have Nobu. Pretty much just like a little pet farm right here. Just looks like, compared to the citizens right there, these guys would be giants. Also, nice use of making the mountain side to where you could actually hide your own tuber there. Very creative. Coming in in fifth place with D Candy TV with 839 votes. And looks like we have another type of river slash greenery setting. That what we have here is that we have Phoebe, we have Porto, Nami, then we have Gwen, Ubu, another Phoebe, then we have Gusto, we have Goo, anything else, anything else. And I am trying to see if there's any other thing. Looks like we have Slippy and Ghost Slippy on the same log. That's pretty interesting to see. Then let us see a gnome, a duck, anything else. Maybe we've, oh, there's Judy. There's Judy right there. And is that Judy too? I can't even tell actually. Maybe that is Judy. Oh, yep, it probably is. So there are two Judys right there. Then anything else that may have not taken a look at or may have missed. It seems like it's just more of just a peaceful setting just to live in. Oh, what is this though? Behind Gwen, there is Slurmy. You can barely see Slurmy behind the log, but Slurmy is there too. Just another fantastic room. Coming in in fourth place with 887 votes, we have Lady Hellhound. And another peaceful type of setting right here. That, we have some sleeping tubers right there on the dock and the pier. Then we have Gusto, Zell, Phoebe, and then we have a fox right there. Oh, so cute. I'm always going to say that, guys. Just, it's going to be one of those things that anytime when I notice it, it's just going to bring a smile to my face. Then we have ourselves Sponsy right there. Look at Sponsy. Oh, so adorable, too. Anything else? Some ducklings, some swans, some flowers. And then we have Slurmy right there on the rocks on the waterfall, a red panda. Then, anything else? Gilly. Look at that. There is Gilly next to a bunny rabbit. Then we have the duckling, and as well as that, we have Gwen and Pix there, too. All together just looks oh so nice. Another thing that I've noticed that from the Pirates vs. Ninja, that you have the house right there, but on top of that, you actually have some greenery too. What a great way to actually make use of that, though it's just not much of a barren type of housing right there, or at least the ceiling or the roof. That's the word I was looking for. And now we are into the top three, so congratulations to all the top three people, including the top ten nevertheless. But we have Bot Ryzen making his comeback. I'm not too sure if he already made it to the top three, but I've seen the name in the top ten. With, let's see here, 890 votes, let's go ahead and take a look at your room. And as we can see here, we have a different type of scenery. It looks like more of a zoo than anything else. That, it probably is a zoo, and it looks like one. That we have an entrance right there, we have some tubers just taking a look at everything else. Grandma and Grandpa are also taking their grandchild to the zoo to look at all the cute little pixelings right there. And especially in the environment, that we have Zell on top of the rocks right there. We have a waterfall, and then we have Gilly pretty much just enjoying the scenery. Or not really enjoying the scenery, but just mainly enjoying the water there. Then we have two Sponsies, and also Gustos. And anything else that I have not taken a look at or may have missed, that we have Pix right there behind the wall. And then we have Nola too. I haven't even seen Nola in the other ones, but now we have Nola here. Also, there's a second Nola. And anything else, looks like there's Brad right there enjoying the zoo too. And is there any other pixelings that I have, may have missed? It doesn't seem like it, but I believe that's all the pixelings that we have gone to see in this here room. Oh wait, there's Phoebe. Phoebe was hiding. Okay, so that's all the pixelings thus far. And coming in in second place, we have Queenie C with 1,057 votes. And it looks like we're in a forest home. We have a lot of trees right there. We have some picks on top of the roof. That is a good way. Is that look like, looks like a bridge too. Not bad. You put a bridge on top of the actual trees just to make it a little bit more of a type of scenery right there with the house too. It complements it very well. Then we have Sponsy on the nest. Also, we have a lot of Portos, and including Slurmies, and then we have Phoebe right there, and Gato. Also, another Zell and Gwen on the water with Nami, and then we have Kuro the Cat. I'm surprised that not many people are using Kuro the Cat for a room type of deal. But in any case, we do have Nola there too, next to the trees, and then we have Mika, and also we have Liz, and also Fitz. Oh, look at Fitz, so adorable there too. 
But just a nice little campfire and a cozy home, what more could you ask for? You have a lot of friends and visitors from all across the forest and the river. Just It just makes it look so peaceful. And last but certainly not least, because you are in first place with 1,094 votes, we have Marks Fabio making his appearance for this top spot in the Pixeling Home event. So let's go ahead and take a look at your room, and looks like we have a half and half type of deal. So for the first half, peaceful setting, we have ourselves Sponsy. Prisma Asimo, regular Asimo, then we have Ted, Nami, even though we have Cupid, but that's not a pixeling right there, but it looks oh so beautiful, so brightly green. Then we also have Adaya and Prisma Lovey. Also, anything else that we may have not seen? Looks like we have the tuber right there behind the wall, but let's see, is there any other pixeling that I could actually spot? Although we do have Navi in the background, or fairies, pretty much I just call every Navi fairies, or fairy Navis because of Legend of Zelda. So what can I say? I like that game a lot, it was my very first game. But that's besides the point. There's Nami, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned that. Then onto the other side. What I liked about this one is that we have the black flowers right there, and now we're onto the white flowers, which gives it a bit of a complimentary look as we're looking at the other half of the room. That we also have Lovey, we have Stein, Gwen, Cora, Prisma Cora, then we also have Curl the Cat, Pix, Doc right there, and Gusto. And is there any other pixeling that I have missed? It doesn't seem like it. What's going on over there? Lots and lots of candles. Oh hey, look at that, there's Joe in the background. Were you supposed to be on the good side or the evil side? I have no idea. Let me see if there's anything else right here. Nope, it's just Joe right there. Poor Joe, you were almost hardly noticed there. But at least we got ourselves a great pumpkin. And also we have our guardian right there, the evil knight there too. But overall, this is very, very impressive. What I really liked about it is that the actual pillars that have been made. You have one pillar, then you have a block right there, and then you have a pillar on top of the block, giving it that complimentary look. I really like that, actually. But just making it like the good versus evil side, it just looks all so together fantastic. And going down the list, I have noticed two things. One of them is that there is a person with my icon, so he probably joined my network a long time ago. So let's go ahead and give a little bit of a visit here. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I know it's not part of the top 10, but I still got to give some credit to somebody who's been part of my network for some time. And then we also have Tuber Central, because he also makes the top 10, or not top 10, top 100 rooms in his montages. So whenever he gets around to doing that, at least we get to see what his room looks like, and plus that he's going to showcase his own room when it comes to the top 100. Although, it looks very nice. Just look at all the actual pixelings you can see around here. But be sure to check out Tuber Central's channel that he will make the top 100 rooms and then to a montage and then of course you can take a look at that whenever he uploads that too. The link to his video will be in the annotation and as well as the description down below. And just a quick look into my friend's room who I've known for many many years before I even started up with Tuber Simulator so just a quick look right here. And these are the top 10 rooms for the Pixeling Room Event or Pixeling Home Room Event. So let us know in the comment section below which out of the top 10 is your favorite and why. What did you like about the room? Was it that the designs they've made, the pixelings they added, or anything else that is just altogether welcoming and looks fantastic in the room? Let us know. Let them know even. If they actually watch this video, then congratulations on the top 10, especially the top 3 of the entire room event. And if you happen to be placed on the top 500, let us know what ranking you got in the top 500. But if anything else, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you are brand new to the channel and want to see more content, videos, and live streams in the future, then be sure to subscribe. Feel free to leave down your PewDiePie, TubeSim, and their username, and as well as the network you are in in the comment section below. Have more friends, have more followers, have more gifts, have more fun playing the game, and have more people join your network and play every single day, as they are going to continue to update this game every month. So once again, congratulations to the top 10. If you want to see the top 100, then be sure to check out Tuber Central's channel for the montage of the top 100 of the Pixeling Homes. But until then, this is going to be the end of this video, so the next room event will be the Puzzle Room event. So stay tuned for that, so whenever that happens, then I'll be sure to make the video as soon as possible.
As always, have a great day everyone. I've been Sorokin Zoran Zero and I will see you guys again in the next video or live stream.